Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you more about the convict cichlid, or also known as the zebra cichlid, because I think it's a really good beginner fish, and actually have a male convict cichlid of my own. So today I'm going to tell you some basic information about it, and what's the best way to actually keep it as a pet. Well, uh, the convict cichlid is North American cichlid. In my opinion, it's a pretty good beginner fish because they don't grow to be that big. For a tank size, I would recommend about 20 gallons or more. I wouldn't really do less. I mean, you could do it, but I don't think it's really uh, good for the fish. So, males can actually grow up to 4.7 inches. Females stay a lot smaller. My convict cichlid is about 4 inches, I would say. Well. Now about the feeding, um, you can actually feed them quite a lot of things. I actually feed them uh, goldfish pellets um, and I have already had my cichlid for a year and it's been doing pretty well. Uh, I also feed him live food because he really likes it. Uh, I feed him mealworms and stuff, I just throw one in, wait for him to uh, eat a mealworm and then I throw another one in until he's full. You just need to keep variation in the diet, that's very important for every fish, not just for the convict cichlid. Uh, a lot of people say it's actually a really aggressive fish, but my fish really isn't. I can even hand feed him with a mealworm, but I think it's when you put them in a really small tank with other uh, cichlids, that then they can get really aggressive, because they actually build a nest even though there isn't even a female, if you have a male. Uh, like mine does. I actually have my convict cichlid in a tank with uh, two smaller cichlids and those cichlids are a lot smaller but he's actually doing pretty fine with them so I would, wouldn't recommend keeping a lot of other fish with them like he's not m meant to go in a community fish tank. But the reason why I think they're good beginner uh, cichlids is because they actually reproduce very fast so if you get like a male and a female they will actually produce reproduce very fast and they will actually uh, protect their offspring uh, in my case I don't think this is like really a benefit because I just have a male cichlid because I don't wouldn't know what to do with all those baby fish and they will actually very uh, aggressively and protect their offspring so that's why I wouldn't uh, uh, put a male and a female together. Um, well, about the water and the temperature, I keep mine, my uh, convict cichlid, at about 24 degrees Celsius. But I think it is when you get a higher temperature, the fish can become a lot more aggressive. Because at uh, 24 degrees Celsius, my fish has been doing fine in it. And you, I've had him for already a year. I think he's three years old now and they can actually grow up to be 10 years old. They're not that expensive. I think they're pretty cheap fish. I got mine for about 10 bucks. So yeah. And so I would recommend keeping them at 24, 25 degrees Celsius just so they don't get that aggressive. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you actually learned something from this video because that's actually the main purpose of this video. Tell me in the comments which fish you want me to talk about next because I've actually had a lot of fish and mainly freshwater because I've just started reef with a reef tank but when I actually get like my first reef fish and I get more experience I can actually make these videos also about reef tank fish so that's I think that's pretty cool. Let me know what freshwater fish you want me to talk about in the next video. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Yeah, see you in the next video.